So today I'm talking about a P2127 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P2127 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor, switch E circuit low. And so what does this mean? Well, basically an engine has what's called a throttle body. And this is where all the air goes into the engine. And it's controlled by this little butterfly plate. As the gas pedals press, this plate's gonna open up more, let more air go into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, they used to have a cable that went down to the gas pedal. And then when the gas pedal was pressed, it would pull on the cable, which would open up that butterfly plate and let more air go into the engine. But in many vehicles now, they got rid of that cable going down to the gas pedal and they replaced it with this electronic throttle control system, which basically has a sensor down on the gas pedal, which a computer is monitoring to know how much the gas pedal has been pressed. And then the computer is controlling a small little motor located at the throttle body and that's controlling how much that plate opens or shuts. But when you get this P2127 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem inside of this circuit. The voltage is too low for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about these throttle bodies is that if you do go to work on your vehicle and you replace one of those sensors or something like that, some vehicles, the computer needs to do what's called a relearn procedure for the throttle body. Not all vehicles are going to need this. It's going to vary. It's, it's going to depend on the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But just keep in mind that sometimes if one of those sensors is replaced, the computer needs what's called a relearn procedure. Quite often with many vehicles, the computer will automatically relearn. But just keep in mind there can be what's called a throttle body relearn procedure. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2127 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you're dealing with throttle bodies is go check out that butterfly plate that opens and shuts. And be sure that it doesn't look like it's really dirty and have a lot of buildup on it or anything like this. Because when these throttle bodies get really dirty and they get a lot of buildup on them, it could throw all those sensors off. It could cause them to do strange things and things along these lines. Even though this code is pointing more towards a wiring problem or some kind of issue going on there, it is a good idea to go and check out that throttle body and be sure it doesn't look like it's really dirty. If it does look really dirty, you can go buy what's called throttle body air intake cleaner and you can spray down in there and you can clean it up real good. You can even use like a small little toothbrush and a rag and things like this. But basically you get some throttle body air intake cleaner, you just spray in there real good and you just clean it up as best you can. One thing to mention is that if you do clean it up with throttle body air intake cleaner, when you first start up the vehicle, the engine might run badly until all that cleaner is burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And depending on the vehicle, there can be some different things going on. There can be different sensors and things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram of your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on with it. But usually you're going to have an accelerator pedal position sensor down on the pedal. It's going to be mounted directly to the gas pedal. So that sensor is going to be up underneath the dashboard. There's also usually a throttle position sensor located on the throttle body. And if something goes wrong with one of those sensors and that can cause problems, that's going to cause issues. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Usually when one of these sensors just go bad, that it's just a sensor problem, then usually you're going to get another code. So if you are getting another code, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem. There's an open, there's a short. One of these plugs has a bad connection, something like that. So you can't get wiring schematics for your particular vehicles, since again, there can be differences. Quite often you can find wiring schematics and diagrams for free using Google Images. If you can't find these for free, there's also some good paid options. I'll put some links down in the description box below if you need to check those out. It is very common for these to be getting a five volt reference voltage. So basically, if you could go test that circuit and be sure you've got a good ground, that you've got voltage going to it, and that the voltage is correct, then that would be the next thing to go and do because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. This isn't too common. Usually when you have a P2127 code, it's going to be something else, like a bad sensor, or there is some kind of wiring issue. But it does happen sometimes, and it can vary which computer is controlling the small little motor located on the throttle body. Sometimes it's a dedicated computer called a throttle actuator control module. Other times it could be the main computer, like the powertrain control module. There might not be no TAC module. There might just be a PCM or ECM. So again, it's going to vary. And like I said, this isn't too common. Usually it's going to be something else, but it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on with the computer. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2127 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.